Hello, I'm Heidi Hoffman, Marketing Director, here with Malcolm Thompson, Chief Technology Officer. We're both with FlexTech Alliance. We're here to update you on the upcoming Flexible and Printed Electronics Conference and Exhibition taking place in Phoenix, Arizona, January 29th through February 1st, 2013. The event is a full four days of technology, tools, materials, and networking for the professionals involved in flexible and printed electronics and the many promising applications built upon that foundation. The field is rich with innovations and we're looking forward to highlighting some of the best new work out there. Malcolm, you've been our point person in planning the technical program. What would you say are the key highlights? Well, we've received many submissions uh, to our quota papers and have Dan selected these to fit into uh, 17 sessions. You can see these cover a wide range of subjects. Uh, we then supplemented these uh, sessions with uh, what we call keynote sessions or with, to give the attendees a full picture of the new technologies, processes, materials, and products that are enabled by flexible and printed electronics innovations. One of the other interesting thing is we've thrown in some retrospectives. As we know, we always learn from the past, and we've got some futuristic presentations as well, and then added some business-focused presentations that include forecasts for several of the different segments that people are talking about. Great, but I wonder, markets, are go markets for flexible and printed technologies go in so many different directions. Displays, photovoltaic, medical, sensors, lighting. What's the common theme among these? Well, I think uh, it's a good question. Um, if you look at the, in the end of the day, each one of these uh, segments has a, what we call a supply chain. It starts off with innovative materials innovative manufacturing processes like printing, and then you make, all of which you make devices. And the interesting thing about these, they get made into different products and different markets, the ones that you mentioned, but they all have a lot of commonality in the materials and the manufacturing processes and even the devices they use. So that's where there's a lot of common themes across these wide segments, like medical sensors, lighting, and photovoltaics. Which of these markets do you see developing the fastest? Well, we already have some markets out there um, in things like e-books, which are made on a, uh, uh, a substrate, plastic substrate material, and we can actually make them curved. And we can then start to see uh, curved or flexible devices coming out of those. Likewise, in terms of the displays, you've got OLED displays, which are used actually in cell phones, and people are looking at making those on a plastic substrate, which will also be able to make different shapes and you have flexibilities. Photovoltaics also on plastic substrates that become put around curved surfaces. Really innovative things like lighting, can be done. Rather than use a single light bulb, you use a simple sing, uh, a surface. And then you've got things like all the sensor technologies. Let me, an example, for instance, in the medical field is to have a medical patch that monitors physical characteristics of the body, your breathing, um, your pulse rate, your oxygen levels. And these sensors will all be made on a plastic substrate and attached to the body. So you monitor the patient all the time. These are the markets that I think we'll see coming first. Each one of these devices, like a sensor, needs a battery. So it has to, have a, it has to be put onto a plastic substrate. It also needs memory. It also needs logic circuits. So those are the common themes that are cut across all these applications. Um, great. So now you've been to the conference several years as an industry attendee, not as an organizer as you're helping us this year. You've been there as a CEO for a couple of different companies involved in one aspect or another of this space. What do you think is the best part of the Flex Conference? Well, the first thing that um, I've always appreciated is the excellence of the technical content. These are often deep dives into these subjects and a very powerful insight 
into what's going on today, but what is going to go on in the future. That, combined with the fact that people talk a lot about products at these, and you have these two going together, so you link the products with the technology. Obviously, one of the other very powerful things is this is where you form business relationships. This is where the collaboration starts. Many a time you ha meet someone at these conferences and it turns into, I've several times, into um, a great new uh, collaboration wh which has led to innovation and breakthroughs in uh, various aspects of some of the products that I've been dealing with. Uh, thank you, Malcolm. And thank you, listener, for spending a few minutes to learn about the 2013 Flex Conference. I hope you found it interesting and have a better appreciation for our upcoming events. FlexTech remains, as always, committed to the growth, profitability, and success of flexible printed electronics and displays companies. Find out more about the conference at flexconference.org and more about FlexTech at flextech.org. Thank you very much.